Hi, I'm Nan Voss from Corporate Cosmo. So today's tutorial is how to add a audio player to your WordPress website. Yes! So whether you are in the music industry or you love to interview or do any type of podcast episodes, um, having an audio player is a great way to entertain your audience and keep them on your site basically so you gotta remember not everyone likes to read uh, but other people like to listen and um, especially for the music they would like to listen and, and test you out so there's two options of course you can host your audio files on your server or you can embed from a third-party site but today I'm going to show you how to host on your own server install a audio player where you can customize to fit your website color scheme okay so you're ready alright so the first thing we have to do is get into uh, we have to go into your WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side is the section that says plugin now the plugin that we need to install is called audio player I've used that in the past and I've currently using it now and it and it works great and besides they they seem to update their plugin on a regular basis so I really do trust this particular one so all I'm going to do is add the new plugin and since I already have and know the name I'm just going to type it in in the search there you go and click on search plugins and is right here so we have to install it first and once we have installed it we have to be able to activate it so we click on activate plugin okay now once you activate plugins you're gonna find it listed maybe under sometimes it can be under the tools most of the time it's under the settings or it may have its own um, menu but it is listed under the settings so we're going to click on the audio player now on this first tab which is your general tab we have to basically tell where we're going to upload the audio files to on the server it has to be a designated file or folder now once I've installed it of course I don't have a folder that's just strictly audio so with WordPress it will default to WP dash content for a slash upload. Okay, once you put in that folder location, you want to click on verify to make sure that that's the appropriate folder to put all your audio files. You see the little green check, so everything looks good. Okay, now we're going to do is customize it a little bit. So we're going to click on display. And it usually defaults to more of this gray looking audio player, but you know, with this particular site, I have a little bit of orange and I have a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to go in and add some colors. Now you can go in and pick the colors out, but since I already know the colors for the site, I'm just going to just pop those in. Okay? So for, let's say, the left background, I'm going to change that to an orange. Okay. And then on the right background, just on this side, I'm going to change that to orange as well. And then the loading bar. Uh, I don't like the green, so I'm going to change that to orange as well so since I have two colors I still don't like the gray and the orange so I'm going to add the blue so the blue I'm going to change the black round okay and then that should be it but you do have options to go in and and change the text and um, um, a number of other areas so you know feel free to get in there and um, and just play around with it 
and then I'm going to save changes okay so we have installed the the, um, the player we have customized it to fit the actual website now we're ready to go and post and upload the audio file so what I did is I'm gonna go into my post and I have one that's in the draft already which is how to add an audio player to the WordPress blog so I'm gonna go in, in here and edit now I have this generic text um, just in case if, of course you want to have text surrounding your audio player but this is where I want to put the player right in between like this first uh, first and second paragraph so I'm gonna click because that's where I want to put the audio player at and then I want to click on this icon which is to add media this is where I can add more of the um, any type of media files um, or image or audio um, you can also use of course the audio file okay so we have to get the audio file and upload it to the computer or to our server so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on select and let's see I have a couple of audio files okay I'm gonna use Angela Green we did a interview um, with her on Street Radio Mag so I'm just going to upload that And depending on the size of the MP3 file, like this was more of a 30-minute um, audio file, so it's going to take some time. But it doesn't really take forever. Um, depends on how um, large your server is. Um, it will be done shortly. And another thing I want to mention that. Um, this particular plugins only take mp3 files um, I usually like to stick with mp3 um, use it because it's versatile and I really don't have any problems uploading it so if you are working with certain other files it's always good to convert it but most of the um, audio players or audio um, conversion software allows you to change from um, change into an mp3 file now of course I would put in descriptions but you know right now um, we're gonna bypass that so since we have uploaded and it's under this URL remember we put in HP dash content for slash upload well this is the file right here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on audio player okay and then I'm gonna click on insert into post so you see this bunch of codes. You're probably like, man, okay. I see nothing but codes. Well, let me save the draft first. And I'm going to show you a preview of how it actually looks. Okay, let's preview this post. And voila, there you go. So if you... Um, you know just play around with it and have fun now if you click on it there you go <laughs> so um, you know having audio files are, are definitely a great way to entertain your your audience and and even showcase your music so if you find this tutorial informative please leave a comment and let me know thanks